We are backstage at Odyssey's Leading Ladies Live with our very own leading lady, Carly Pierce. How are you? I'm so good. How are you? I'm doing so good and so good as you should be with the number one song in America. <gasps> are you so excited? Um, Yeah, I... I I'm so happy that I get to play a show the week of it, but I, it feels surreal. Like it always does. I, I'm so happy. That's amazing. And I have seen you post a couple of times talking about how like when you guys wrote this, you were not trying to like write a hit, write a single, write a number one. You're just like writing from this really like honest, truthful place. And here we are. I know. I almost feel like when you don't overthink it, it happens the way that it's supposed to. And we just got together because I was such a fan of hers. And mm -hmm. It's been really fun to see the song come to life and make its way all the way to number one and Ashley's first number one. I know. That's so exciting. And I also, I know that you were hoping to like break the record of number one female duets. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I was thinking about it and it is so cool to have seen Miranda and Elle do that. And then for you guys to do it basically a month later, like I feel like I know. that is progress for women in country music and it's really exciting. I'm like, we're waving the flag for yes. anybody that wants to say women are not making a way right now on country radio. Exactly, which is so exciting. Yeah. And then you have been out on the road with Kenny Chesney, which you have to be like pinch me every day that yes. this is what's happening. Yes, I, I've I've never been to a Kenny show until the tour. Oh my God, so you really didn't know what you were I had for. no clue. And now wow. I... I watch every night, but I just totally understand the thing that is No Shoes Nation. Yeah. Um, getting to learn from the best, and I just feel really lucky that I get to be out there at this part of my career. So I know. It's got to be time. crazy seeing, like, the level of production. Like, I was talking to him, and it's, like, 27 trucks or something something insane. It's hard. And just, like, building it and taking it all down. Like, it's wild. They, like, load in the day before, build it. And, you know, there's, like, 60,000 people cramming into stadiums and singing every word and you're just like oh my gosh okay wow like this this is the goal yeah you know this is like why I don't know I just am amazed at what one person and the connection that they can have with their music is doing it's just it's, really it's truly incredible and then you recently celebrated a, a birthday I know. happy belated <laughs> I'm like is it fun anymore after you hit a certain age I'm like oh god but you know what's so funny? <laughs> this is horrible, but I was looking at your post and I was like, oh, she just turned 32. I'm turning 32 this year. And then I was like, no, I'm not. I'm turning 33. And I was <laughs> like, forget, right? I was so mad at myself. I was like, oh, I just feel like I aged a whole year in one minute. And I was so. <laughs> you start to get a little confused, like in that mid almost. Well, especially to... after the last couple of years. I'm like, the last two don't count. They don't, don't count. Mm -mm. I'm going to be maybe 30 forever, not yeah. 29. But you posted about how like your 30s so far have been incredible. Like, mm -hmm. what do you mean by that? You know, I just think, especially in the 20s and especially my late 20s, they were full of a lot of my dreams coming true and quite honestly, some falling apart. And mm -hmm. I think what that part of my life has made me realize is so much about myself. And I feel like I just am stronger and better and mm -hmm. more aware and self-aware and just aware of what I want out of life and mm. what is important to me. It's so funny, like all those cliches, and I say this all the time, that what people say to you, yes. like when you get to 30, things just change. And it's like this magic transformation yeah. almost. And you're like, you know what? I don't give a crap. I'm like, <laughs> okay, I'm going to take it. Yeah, it's yeah. like you take all the mistakes and the stupid things that you cared about in your 20s. And then you're like, oh, it doesn't matter. You can finally <laughs> like learn from it yes, and yes. not do the same thing again, yes. which is awesome. And then I know one of your idols, one of my idols, Miss Dolly Parton, is getting inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which is so amazing. If you were asked to perform a song in her honor, which one would you pick oh and gosh. why? I know. Oh, that's so hard. Um, I know it sounds like a cliche, but just as a songwriter and as um, somebody who writes their own truth, Jolene has always been just, it has spoke to me on so many levels, just the melody, but also if you read those lyrics, it's one of the most heartbreaking but vulnerable pleas to another yes. woman of please don't take my man. And I just, I don't know. I love her. I almost named my dog Jolene. So um, I would sing that. How is little June? June's great. Her yeah. name is June Jolene Pierce. June jo um, Yes, she's with her um, Gammy right now in Alabama. <laughs> so I get to see her in a few days and I'm very excited. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. And then I could sit here and ask you questions all night, but we actually have a question for you from another <laughs> leading lady in country music. You can just hit play on there for it. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm scared. Hey Carly, it's Marin. I want to know what your dream collab is. Dream Ooh, collab like from Marin. Oh gosh. I think it would be either Allison Krauss and Union Station. I really want to sing 
with Allison and Dan Tominsky. I just, they're one of my favorites. And I think my other would be Leanne Walmack. Oh my God. She is like truly like, She's a freak. There's something there. Like, there's you, something. You need a CMT moment, crossroads, something like that I would just be. Would die. Yeah. She, there's just something that I feel like has never been recreated with mm -hmm. her voice. Truly. And then we're obviously so excited to have you here tonight for Leading Ladies with Lauren, Lainey, Gabby, Morgan, Janelle, and Priscilla. So many. I know. It's going to be so much fun. We yeah. were laughing. We're like, there's a, like a certain thing about it being an all girl show, which yes. is so cool. But also like Priscilla's bag didn't come. So everybody was like trying to get all the stuff that she needed. And I'm like, you could only get that with a lineup full of women. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hate that for her. She should have called me. But you know what? It all worked out. <laughs> good, Everything good. got done. We're so excited for the show tonight. And then as we look forward to leading ladies in 2023, who would you say is like a young rising female talent that we should keep an eye on for next year? Oh my gosh. This Priscilla used to be my answer to this, so it's fun <laughs> to see her star yeah. rise. Um, I I really love Haley Witters. I think yes. that she is. She and I kind of came up with mm -hmm. Kelsey in the same little yeah. circle, but I just feel like she's really special. Um, and I also love Hannah Ellis. She was my tour mate. She is um, so sweet. I she's love such her. a great writer, such a great singer. So I would say those two. I love that. Well, thank you so much for being here and for your time. I'm so excited to see the show tonight. Yay!